Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, the small caps. Um, first up here is uh, Russell 2000 and so uh, yeah if you look here uh, you know this is the, this is showing that, that the small caps have been under pressure uh, the last couple of days and then today there was a bounce off of the middle Bollinger Band that's currently at 166.56 and so if this dotted purple line holds this uptrend is intact. The downside risk is if it did drop below that middle Bollinger Band it could drop down to that 50 day simple moving average at 163. Now uh, futures is up right now. Fu futures trading, um, everything's up. Um, there was a really strong day today uh, for the market, and uh, what, what you're looking for now is a break above this uh, th this top level at just uh, just right around 169.50. As you can see here, there was a top made in June, and then it came down here, bounced off of the 50-day simple moving average, and then it came back up and it hit that level and failed to break and pulled back. And so now a close above this level should be a signal that the Russell 2000 wants to break out to a new all-time high. This is the all-time high close here, and so we're going to see if it can uh, uh, get breaking out higher. And um, yes, yeah, so, so uh, we're going to is you know if uh, the, the small caps are strong, then um, you know the, the that should be good for the market since the the small caps were really pushing hard during the market rally. And so it'd be good to see the Russell 2000 break out to new highs. Um, if you look here at IZEA, uh, this was the big winner today it closed up 173 um, percent it, it's it made a big move it had it had a giant gap up open and and it did close strong it closed near high of day it, it had a gap up open above this 50-day simple moving average at 149 it also got above the middle Bollinger band and above this channel you can see there's this uh, descending resistance and then you have uh, descending support here and it broke above the top of the channel it, it, and then now the, the key is to stay above this gold line if it could stay above 237 that's going to be a signal that wants to head high and then look for a run up here to this 300 day simple moving average at 299 and the 200 day simple moving average at 342. So this $3 to 342 resistance zone is going to be the big level to break tomorrow. If it stalls out there, that could be the temporary top. If you see the share price drop below 237, that'd be a red flag. It could come down here and test that 50 day simple moving average. Okay, take a look at, look at GLMD. Closed up 21% today. And, and so keep an eye on this one. You know, it had the, the gap up open with the, with the, ugly black candle here on the 12th and the reason why I say ugly black candle because the open was way up here uh, at around $25 and, and then the close was way down here near low of day and so this is a big red flag that, that that actually even though it was well up on the day since the close on the on the 11th was way down here it, it was still signaling the bears were under control you know in control and as you can see it, it had been a downhill ever since then you know it, they just walked it all the way down and, and so today's move was a signal that that possibly that that that, that this uh, bearish downtrend is changing and, and that a new uh, uptrend could be beginning and, and so uh, what has to happen is it has to get above the the, the dotted purple line here it, it got above that middle Bollinger band temporarily and it was looking better uh, intraday but but if it, it what has to happen it's getting about this three thirteen ten if it closes about thirteen ten then that could signal that it wants to uh, start pushing higher again if that thirteen ten is resistant you can see there's a gap between high of day yesterday and low of day today so a drop down to eleven dollars would fill the gap that's the downside risk you want to see it just stay above these previous candles stay above EMAs four eight and thirteen and then get above that thirteen dollar resistance zone if you look here there was a, a big volume spike um, yeah, there was a PSAR bull flip, the, the dots flip below the candles. And so star, SAR stands for stop and reverse. You've got uh, RSI and FASTO both back above uh, uh, 50. Okay, so they're both, both in the bull zone again. And then you had a bull cross here on ADX. You know, the PSAR bull flip of the green dots. So everything's heating up. It just has to break above that middle Bollinger Band. Okay, take a look at RHE here. It closed up 17.5%. So keep an eye on this one. This is another one that's been heating up. It's been taking a while. Um, it, it closed above the middle Bollinger Band back here on this white candle. It, and so it had been working on turning this uh, 22 cent level into support. Notice how all these candles are above that level. And then today, it closed back above the green line. Uh, on this white candle here, it closed above the 50-day simple moving average, and then it pulled back below, and then now today it's back above. So this is signaling more upside potential. It's hitting the next key level to break. It's kind of hard to see here the gold line. That's the 100-day simple moving average at 274. If it breaks above 274, 
30 will be a big level. And then uh, th that was the close here. And, and then if you get above 30, then you have this 200-day uh, simple moving average in the high close here on May 7th. So it's breaking out of this first sideways channel. And then now it's it, it's getting into this channel from back here in April and May. And, and so the top is, you know, this, this 32 level. If it can get above, you know, so, so just look for a potential run up to the 200-day simple moving average. If it can get above that, if it gets above the 100-day simple moving average at 274. Now, if it fails to get above the 100-day simple moving average, that's going to signal more consolidation. Um, it looks like it's trying to heat up here. It's making higher lows. You can see here it has higher lows. It's making higher highs. You know, it, it, it's it's got a, a, a volume spike today. So so everything's signaling that that it could push higher. You know, they they they, they could come down test that 50. If it stays right now above the 50-day simple moving average at 243, that would be bullish. So so yeah, keep an eye on that one. Another one, KIQ. So uh, yeah, this is uh, it's, uh, up 17%. It looked way better earlier in the day, and they really drove it down. Um, yeah, it always sucks when they do that. And they, they did that with multiple stocks today, and they've been doing that lately. Um, yeah, so it, it, if you look here, it hit 95, and then it pulled all the way back, forming this long upper wick. And notice how they drove it all the way down below the 300-day simple moving average at 58 here. It has to get above this 58 resistance zone to head higher. It also you know, went back below this May high close at just about 65 cents. So it's 58 and 65. If it gets above 65, then it could really get moving again. Um, fail to break 58, and then you have the 100-day simple moving average here at 54. You have the 50 and 200-day simple moving averages just below. If it were to drop below 50, the risk is the gap between high of day yesterday and uh, which is down here at about 48 cents and low of day today would fill. That's the downside risk. The, the, the long, uh, you know, upper wick signals dilution, you know, that they were selling shares. And then, uh, yeah, if you look down here at accumulation distribution, you can see how it just dropped off a cliff. Huge spike down. Look at shaken money flow, the giant spike down. You know, that's a signal that they were really dumping shares. Even though the share price was up 17% in the day, you do not like to see a spike down on accumulation distribution and shaken money flow like that okay take a look at vslr uh sweet move today closed up over seven percent so yeah this is one that we've been uh you know posting some charts on and today it uh, busted out above high close horizontal resistance so this is the move that we've been looking for uh, that was the closing price right here uh, on this uh white candle uh, on the uh what is that the 22nd and, and so that that break above this 530 resistance zone is signaling more upside potential you can see it's busting through that upper bollinger band right now it came up down and it, and it hit the middle Bollinger Band it held that level so that it, as long as that's holding at 513 this uptrend's intact right now you want to see it stay above 530 it needs to stay above that high close level but it looks like it's trying to break out higher you can see MACD just had a bull cross on 813 and 5 and then the, the black line is the MACD line and that purple line is the is the uh, uh, signal line and when the black line crosses over the the the, the purple line or the, the MACD line crosses over the signal line that's a signal of a possible start of a new uptrend and so the, the 8, 13, and 5 signals before the, the 12, 26, and 9 right here. So this is the 12, 26, and 9. And this is the 8, 13, and 5. And, and so it takes a little longer for the 12, uh, 26, and 9 to signal. But when it does cross over, it, it, it's usually a pretty strong signal. And, and so this is pinched right now. And, and uh, the MACD line set up to cross over the signal line. And as you can see here, look at the last crossover. Okay, these are the last crossovers on MACD, the last bullish crossovers. And then you can see where that happened was right here. And that was before the start of this run. And so this could be the start of the next run. It's We're going to see if it can break out higher. If you look here at the VSLR weekly chart, you can see it's coming up on the key resistance level. That's this uh, 2017 high close. Okay, so that looks like it's around... 590 or so we're at 560 right here this is six dollars this this line and so uh you know just you know between it's getting right there and so you want to see a weekly close above the 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 high close from uh june of 2017 and that would signal that it would want to push higher and then you'd be looking for a run up to this 750 to eight dollar zone uh, it was support back here and then that would be the next big resistance zone if it can get through uh this level you can see this was the bounce level it came up hit that so this 
this is going to be a really big level. It, it has a nice uptrend going on, on the weekly chart. You know, the, the, the candles are riding EMA4 support higher. You know, if you're a longer term uh, trader, um, it, as long as it's, it candles are riding EMA4 support, the signal is just to keep riding. I mean, it's a super bullish chart. If there was a close be below, that's when it could consolidate and pull back. As long as this middle Bollinger Band down here at 415 is holding, this uptrend is intact. Okay, look at uh, IMMP. This is another one we've been following. Closed up 13% today. It, 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 it had got it closed above the middle Bollinger Band on Monday, so that that's when it made our radar, and that was uh, uh, at, at it's at 197. And, and so it got above that level, it pulled back, and then today it's back above again. And it also closed above the le level on the ninth, the high, the, the closing price on the ninth. So this is just signaling that that the middle Bollinger Band is turning into support here, and that 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 a new uptrend could be starting. Uh, we we like this volume spike here. You know, volume precedes price many times. And so that, that big volume spike down here, well, it's breaking resistance. It was a good sign. You have to watch out for stocks like this. Uh, you can see this is the middle Bollinger Band um, uh, up here. Um, you can see, okay, this is the middle Bollinger Band, middle Bollinger Band, middle Bollinger Band. You can see how the candles have been, you know, having a hard time getting above that 20-day simple moving average. It, it, and that's a sign when, it, when it's a penny stock that, they, that they're dumping shares. You know, obviously, I mean, this is a penny stock. You get down here from dilution. And so it, it's all about now staying above that 20 cent level because if it gets back below the, the, then you can see the pain and suffering if you hold when, when the, the candles are forming below the middle Bollinger Band for a penny stock that, that has a history of dilution. But right now we've got the volume spike at the bottom. This looks like a new uptrend could get going. Uh, it holds above 20. That signals upside. You want to see it stay above 21. And then the next target is going to be up here at this 50 day simple moving average at 24. You got the upper Bollinger Band at 23. And then notice how this around 23.50 level uh, the, the, to 235 level this was a big zone you know a lot of candles were failing to get above that level so this 23 to 24 level will be the next tough level to break okay take a look at kool okay so this chart is heating up it's a uh, uh, you know you've got the 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 uh, bullish crossover here uh, on on adx and then uh, fasto's almost at 80 you want to see rsi get above uh, 50 if you look here on rsi um, it's at its highest level on rsi in months Okay, so you have to go off this chart to find the last time RSI was at this level. So it's signaling that it's heating up. It closed today above the middle Bollinger Band, and so that was a good start. That that's currently at 46. If it drops below that level, that's going to signal that it's uh, still consolidating. It's going to need to stay above 46. You can see it was in this tight channel for a couple of weeks here, for and then it finally broke above, and then now it's up in, in this previous channel uh, from back here in May and June. And uh, it, what, what the, the next key level is going to be this upper Bollinger Band up here at 55, and uh, uh, the the upper Bollinger Band. And so that, that that was the top of this previous channel. And so if it can get above 55. It could run up there to 65. It could really get moving if it gets above 55. It, it, it now, now, you know, it's out of this really tight channel when it was below the middle Bollinger Band. It's back above the middle Bollinger Band, but it's got to get, you know, past this next resistance zone. And so, uh, yeah, you can see how it, it's been just channeling like crazy. So you can't get your hopes up too much for for a stock like this. It's been in a lot of sideways action. Um, you know, you 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 uh, you know you have to. Uh, it has to break above resistance. So uh, you know, it, it, stocks can go sideways for a long time they can drag it out and it, and it gets you to uh you know it, uh, yeah it's always good if they're moving so it gets above 50 uh, 55 65 okay drops below 46 um it will signal more consolidation okay take a look at fpi this is the dead cat bounce play today closed up 18 percent check out that really big red candle yesterday that was just a nasty drop and then today there was a big bounce and so uh yeah th this looks like uh uh uh, bu bullish hair me cross reversal pattern formed anytime you have a doji candlestick this is a doji candlestick or a and a doji forms when the 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 open and the close are at the same level and so that that, that forms this uh small line here you know that means that you know even though the stock went all the way up here and all the way down here it, it, it finished the day exactly where it started and, and so when that forms during a downtrend many times that signals a bounce and so w w this candle is forming well below the lower bollinger band you can see the lower bollinger bands here at 666. Uh, the candles are likely to work back into the bands. It's going to be all about breaking EMA4 at 691. Anytime you have a dead cat bounce play, EMA4 is always the big level to break. If it fails to break when tested, it's the lock-in gain zone. Okay, so take a look at FPI on the 15-minute chart.
chart, you could see here it had the gap up open above the middle Bollinger Band. So you had the big drop yesterday. Today it got above that dotted purple line. Today it, it, it dropped back below into the close over here. And so it needs to get back above 633. If you can get above 633, and then it's the 650 resistance zone, which was the high close today. And that's when it could signal that it wants to get moving higher. Right now, the, the bullish development was the close above the green line. That's the first close. It closed uh, at, at, at 330 uh, uh, today and then 345. It, it closed above that 50 simple moving average that, you know, it, it hadn't closed above that level and since uh, the 10th. Right, right, right before the uh, close in the tenth, and so it's going to be imperative that it stays above that level. If it drops below the 50 simple moving average at 6:15, uh, that that would be a sell signal, or you know, uh, or, or it would be a signal to uh, stay short. Um, take a look at ATNM here. Okay, so uh, yeah, it, it closed above the 300-day simple moving average today, so that was a huge move. That had been the tough level to break. Currently at 70 cents, that's the blue line here, and so it hit, hit that zone uh, back here. Uh, on the, the what is that like the 20th and then it and then it pulled back it hit the middle Bollinger Band down here in, in, in the 200 day simple moving average zones and, and it bounced off and then it came back up and then now it closed above so so going forward you know the strategy is if it stays above the 300 day simple moving average this you know it signals the chart still strong and it keep riding it becomes the stop loss level if the share price drops below 70 that that would be a sell signal and so right now it's hitting this resistance from over here uh, in January, and so th this red line represents the the high close of 2018, and, and so if it can break above 75, that's going to be a signal that wants to head higher. A close above 75 would be very bullish. Okay, take a look at uh, AT uh, ATNM here on the weekly chart, and you can see the 75 level how that was big resistance here you know you can even go back into uh, October of, of 2017 all the way through January of 2018 it, it, 75 was just the tough level to break and so it's all about closing above that level for a week for the week if it closes above that level for the week that would be a bullish change in trend from the past uh, you know uh, for, for, since this pattern has been created and if it fails to close above that level that would signal continuation of this pattern that would signal temporary time Top into lock and gains. A break above 75 would be really bullish, and you'd be looking for a run up to that 100 week moving average at 92. Okay, take a look at ALQA. All right, so now this, this stock uh, made a bullish move today. Look at that volume spike. This is a thinly traded stock. I mean, look at the average daily volume. It's so low. It makes it tough to trade these kind of stocks, but I know people like to trade penny stocks. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's like you want to trade them when the volume's around, but but you, as you can see here, when the volume's light, it, it, it's just pain and suffering. Look how they took this thing sideways forever. And then finally, boom, a move today on a volume spike. So it could get moving. You know, this has had some volume in the past, like over here. Here. But but you know it's it's just it, it, it had this really nice run you know in March and then uh, April you know had this big run pulled back now it's back above that that 200 day simple moving average it closed just above at 224 if it could stay above that level that would be you know signaling more upside potential and then you could see a run up to this uh, 255 to 260 level that's the high close from back here in May you know you also have the high close from January uh, just below that and, and so uh, yeah it, it's going to be all about seeing about that 200 day simple moving average if it could stay above that that would make it interesting you know you could possibly get a, a, another 10 uh, percent move uh, up to this uh, high from May. Okay, look at uh, AST here. Okay, so this closed up 12%. Th 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 this is another one to keep an eye on. It, it formed the black candle yesterday. It had the gap up open and, and it pulled back and it held the 50-day simple moving average and the 20-day simple moving average, that dotted purple line and the, and the green line. And so that, that was that was bullish. And now today it's back above the 100-day the simple moving average currently at 164. And so that's the big level to hold. You want to see it stay above that level. It had it worked on it, turning that level into support in June and it had dropped below. And so now it's back above the gold line here. And, and so see how it tried to break it in May and it failed and pulled back. And then in June, it got above it and was holding it, but it decided it wasn't ready to go, pulled it back, and then now it's back above again. And so so many times when you get back above for the second time, that's the charm, that's the signal, okay, now it's really ready to go. And so it's gonna all come down to is this 185 level. Notice how that was huge resistance. If it breaks above 185 and closes, it's all about the close. If it closes above, that should be the signal it wants to head higher, and then look for a run up to the 200-day simple moving average at 205. 
Okay, so notice how that was a big zone back here in February and March. Okay, thanks a lot for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, please come check out the chat. Okay, thank you.